Greetings and welcome to the video introduction to chapter guide five of Chemistry 221, and I'm really glad to have you here. The purpose of this video is to give a quick introduction to the things you'll see in this chapter guide, but if you have any questions at any time, please reach out to me. I'm more than happy to help. Okay, we're going to continue looking at types of reactions in this particular section. We'll look at the combustion reaction and redox reaction, which are both really important to chemists. We'll also introduce molarity and titration which are really important because solutions are a big part of chemistry, as we'll see in the lab and stuff like that. Then we'll start talking about the energy involved in energetic reactions. Some reactions take energy, which are called endothermic reactions, so they feel kind of cold afterwards. Some reactions, though, actually give energy off when they're made, and those are called exothermic reactions. Exothermic reactions sometimes feel warm after the things have reacted. Pretty cool stuff. We'll then look at how to calculate energies of transformations. We'll look at Hess's law. We'll talk about the heat capacity. And finally, we'll look at how to calculate the overall enthalpy of a reaction if we have known values of the heats of formation. Pretty exciting chapter. Get ready to use your calculator. There's a lot of calculations, but none of this stuff should be impossible to you. And if you do run into any problems, you be sure and let me know. I've always got hints up my sleeve to try and help students out. Good luck with your studying and have a wonderful day.